right, here we got Rory's Pom Pom. It's the Great Central Railway 060 tender engine. Uh, it's come to me for a little bit of work. Uh, the main thing is he wants a repaint. Uh, it's going, well, you'll see where it goes when we get there. So it, I'm doing sort of running boards up for repaint. So I'm going to strip it down to the running boards, leave the chassis, um, and just tidy the chassis, clean the chassis up and touch up the paint. And then repaint the top um, tenders there as well. And we'll see how we get on. I do know of a couple of issues it's got. Um, one of the injectors isn't working, but um, I've got a couple of theories on that. But we're going to deal with that afterwards because it's going to come apart for painting, point of sorting the injector, and then taking it apart, taking all the part work off again. So for now, we will start taking it apart. Should have mentioned the other thing that I know we've got an issue with is the crank axle. It's just like wobble from one end to the other. Uh, and I think one of the eccentrics has a tendency to slip a little bit. So once we've got the, all the boiler and the plate work off, I will look at getting that driving axle out and we'll take a look at that, see what, what we can do with it. Um, it might be that we can do something with what's there or it might need a new crank axle. We'll have to see what we, what we get to when we get there. There we go, in a pretty short period of time, we've managed to get the boiler off. So the crank axle's got a slight wobble from one side to the other. I think it's over this side. It's either the web to the last stub of axle or it's the wheel on the axle. Um, but yeah, just wants a little bit of a clean up and we'll see what we can do. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but I'm holding this wheel dead still and rotating this wheel. And all of that moving. I'm fairly sure it's this web on the stub axle. Uh, as you can see there, let's see if we can. Uh, 
So taking a closer look, you know, I've tried to clean off the, the metal work a little bit. You can just see the, the stub axle in there and the web around the outside of it. But there you see, no problem. So I need to take all of this apart so that I can drop the axle out. Stripping apart an engine that you didn't make can be very frustrating at times. So I've got the axle free, big ends are off, all the um, eccentrics are split. I just need to lift the axle now. But the drain cock linkage running down the side is in the way. So that needs to come off as well now. We're now free to come out, but I can't see any indication of a, uh, a marking to show which way round the, the axle should be. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put a centre dot on this keep and on this frame. That way, when it goes back together, if I line the two centre dots up, I'll know where it goes again. Now I've got it out. It's it's loose on both of these webs. One of them see that? No, what are you so that wheel can rock in relation to this web, but also it's wobbling like mad. Of course, I don't know if you can see the centre boss. There you go. That's no good. Um, a bit too much movement for my liking. Um, that's not a repair job, that's a new crank, unfortunately. I will investigate options and dig out the drawings and see how Don Young suggested doing it. Right, that's enough for tonight. I've had enough. It's getting cold, it's getting dark outside, well, it's getting dark, it's pitch black outside. Um, we'll catch up with that another time. Thanks for watching. Um, like, share, subscribe, whatever you like, if, um, if you think it's worthy of it. Uh, and I will do some research about a new crank axle and start putting this one apart at some stage. Um, so I need to get some material and look at making a new axle. So thanks for watching and goodbye.